Okay, everybody, how you doing today? Uh, it is that time. We are about to close this daily candle right here. And let's take a look, see where we are at. Yep, and we closed under the, uh, or under. So we closed out a golden cross on the one day. Uh, it is official, it is officially closed out. Um, I am still in a short. I'm sitting in this short still. I'm going to let it get stomped out. I don't care. Um, I'm going to reduce probably... Nah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to let it roll. The uh, uh, We did get some news a little while ago that Tether did post. Uh, there was I don't know if it was Tether. Oh, there's my alarm telling me to get up and get on YouTube. So we did post a uh, that 100 million tether was moved. I don't know if it was a returned. I don't know if it was sent. I'm not sure what happened there. But we did have movement. I'm gonna pull this down. Let's take a look really quick. I mean, this is a this was a very bearish candle right here. So you had a very bearish candle on the green six. This did turn into a red one on the daily which is really just I'm not sure how that turned into a red one right there uh, they must have averaged out to do the flip on this candle so it did flip us to a green one so we did open now we have opened higher than the previous candle so we're definitely higher than the previous candle that uh, that closed that's always a really good sign yeah, we have had three engulfing candles here. So we had the first uh, number five engulfing. We had the six engulfed by the five. We had the five engulfed by the four. I mean, this is just, it's like a, a it's a daily, we should call this the week of engulfing, the engulfing week. All right, and if you're looking this in, this kind of looks like a symmetrical triangle almost. You kind of get uh, from there to there. I mean, this does technically break out of that symmetrical triangle in an upward fashion. So let's go ahead and let's throw some lines on this thing right here. Um, let me go find a blank chart. Let's see if I got a blank chart loaded somewhere. Where do I have a blank chart at? see what I can find over here and uh, wait maybe no I don't have a blank chart sitting there let's just clean this chart up right here real quick for everybody uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this this Hmm. Zoom this in. Let's pull this off here. So here we go. So this comes down right here. If you're using the, there you go. Now this is over on the daily chart. And just stretch that out. All right, so that clearly just wipes out that that possible triangle right there. Is it still in the? Let's see if that's still in. It just this just this looks very bullish. Listen, this is a very bullish scenario here, and you could have a second. Uh, look, you had a bullish cross here. You could be about to have a second bullish cross again on the four hour. So when you take this down to the four hour chart. This looks like another bullish cross on the four hour chart is about to occur. Let's bring this down. And yeah goes my trade <laughs> there goes my trade right there 
Yeah, I was betting against the longs, and it looks like I am about to get just wrecked on my trade. Yeah, this is a this is a golden cross. Great setup on a golden cross. It was a good trade. I still look at this as a negative candle, but it didn't. It flipped. It flipped into this possibly could have ended up a a hanging man with the candle next to it. We then continued up. And this once this crosses again, I just have a feeling it's gonna shoot this up. I mean this is still four hours out, but still this looks like it's gonna cross right here. Let's pull this down into the uh let's go into the twelve hour. I don't really want to go down too far into any into looking too deep here. B C D E. I mean I just am not seeing this complete out right here with the golden cross on the daily let's look let's go back and we're going to take a look at all of our indicators if this is just a great trade setup right here unfortunately if you are in a long this is this is a positive long trade opportunity right here so if you are on a trade right now and you are in a long trade this was if you are in one of those hedged longs this 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 should this should go. I mean, we are here. We are. We are. We are in a prime location, right there. Squeeze happened. We popped up. I just. Where is the fireworks? Where are the fireworks, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Cross here. Fireworks. Right. Cross here, fireworks. Cross here, and you know, I don't know where this one happened. I don't know the action of this particular cross right here. Uh, you know, cross, this was just, this was up here. The cross happened, this got banged down, and then that was it. Just knocked the crap out of it. I mean, this could be the beginning of a trend, a switch the trend for a good month. This is usually what happens. We are on the 6th. So we are on that faithful day of doom or gloom or moon. And uh, so we're, let's, let's see what we happen. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's, it's red, but this is going to be tough to get back under. You know, I mean, we're going to have to have a massive amount of, of just, just beating the trend. You know, I look back on these candles there, you know, there's one just smashed down. This one actually, man, this is, this is just, this is looking very, this is a bullish sign. That's what it is. This is a bullish sign. We could, we, we just got to sit on, hold on for a second here and let this trade uh, work itself out and see where we go from here. So let me give me a second. I'm going to pull up some of my other charts. All right. So let's uh, let's go over here. I mean, golly, RSI's kicking back over. This is about to roll over on us. Seriously, what the heck is going on here? All right, for, for one time, I have to say that I am just lost. I'm lost right here. This is a great opportunity. This is a great trade right here for a the Golden Cross. And this is just showing a very, very negative sign. This is saying... Don't go long. This is saying go short. You know, every time this thing has rolled over, you know, every single time this thing has rolled over. It has given us a clear sign that uh, I mean, this is where we could be. We could be right here. You know, this could have this could roll over right here. 
and then we could just even as it's going down it could be still the price could still be going up this is possible you know but here's the last time we rolled over this was ugly rolled over ugly rolled over ugly rolled over I mean you know you had the, you had the little dip right here but then it just this mooned up roll over ugly roll over ugly roll over ugly roll over ugly and let's go back let's go back to let's go see if what a bullish rollover would be like see look here it rolled over I mean it was a dip you had a dip after the rollover here you had the you know you rolled over but it, it was was negative this is ugly this is ugly this is all in a bull run right every time this thing rolled over it did have a large chunk of ugly going on all right here's this one man it's so hard to trade against this damn indicator I wish I had a better clearer sign here the golden cross says go long the bubble chart says don't all right I'm willing to take some ideas out there anybody got any ideas I'm all about it. All right, what do we got? Um, we decreased in volume and the price went up. Yeah, let's go over and let's peek at the volume here real quick. Let's uh, good call on the volume tech. Okay, so let's pull up this volume chart. Here we go. Let's bring up the volume here. Here we go. Let's bring up the daily. Yep crazy so the volume has gone down so we we consistently step down with the volume over and over and over again Yeah, I'm just not, I don't know. I, I have to say, I'm very, very confused right now. I really am. I wish I had a better retrace before bull run to... Yeah, I mean, it is a, it is a, this, you know, it could be going to the 128. You know, let's go, let's go take a look. This is, this would be my target. If we made a bull run right here with this golden cross, my target would be the 128 day. My target would completely be 78, 7900. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, trace bull run. Let's, uh, no, I, you know, they, they are lagging indicators, but they, I mean, they do, they're, they're true. You know, they're not that lagging of indicators. You know, we saw that on the 12 hour. This was not a lagging indicator. We called this exactly. We called these. We called these pumps, you know, as they were coming down, as these uh, golden crosses happened. We were calling them live. We were just waiting for them to happen, and we went into long trades based on them. They were winning trades, so the the moving averages do trail. They do trail a little bit, but uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, this this could this give this candle time. This candle could could form. This candle could work out. If this candle does take off right here, it's got nothing above it on the 12 hour. Right? If this candle takes off right here, uh, it's got nothing but blue skies till 7,000. Let's go to the daily. I'm going to pull up the daily chart. Yeah, like see, 7,000. If this thing goes up, it's got nothing between it and 7,000 here. A Lisa Simpson move. <laughs> it's the opposite of a Bart Simpson. That's right. Yeah, you know, we're, I, you know, we, we had a, uh, I just, there's, this has got a lot of support under it right now. It's going to be hard to get back down underneath this. Uh, let's go over and take a look at our uh, other bubble chart. Okay, here we go. And, on, you know, just once again, here's the bubble charts, you know. 
gets up. It's just like kryptonite right now on this in the pink bubble, you know? Come up, done, come up, done, come up, done. Let's see, let's pull up and I want to see where our RSI, you know, a really good indicator too to follow. If you're a noob, you don't really need the bubble chart set up for you. You can go over and you can use the RSI. So let's pull up the RSI and there we go. All right, like give me the RSI here. A, a really good indicator. You know, in, in 50, I like to use as a good average, but you got to really get past 54. But 50, 50 is a good... And where is my... Oh, sorry. Let's bring this baby up. There we go. Snap a line on this thing at 50. I mean, we're just riding. Ride or die on the 50 right now. Ride or die. You know, there we are. We're just, it's ride or die on the 50. And let me, I'm going to pull up a uh, horizontal line. Let's pull up a horizontal line right here. So, you know, when you get below the 50, it's just, let's see what we got. What chart do we have open? Please tell me it's not Binance. All right, cool. Let me brighten this thing up. Let me make my... Let's dim this thing down just a little bit. All right, so, you know, breaking that 50, got a small rejection on the 50. Rejection on the 50, so there's another one. So, you know, it does, it, it has retraced back from the 50 a few times. You know, if we go back here, there's one. There's one, you know, let's go, let's uh, we're gonna track that baby down. Let's go hunt this down, we're gonna hunt that one down. Let's hunt this one down. Let's hunt this one down. Sent this one down. This is really, this one really retraced pretty high right here. I mean, that's pretty substantial. 55, so let's throw a horizontal ray, kind of a sandwich zone. There's the 55. Let's call that a red line. All right, so this one and this one. Both, I'm going to throw up a uh, vertical line on these. I just want to take a look at what happened. Okay, we see any other ones? There we go. All right. Give me a second. Let me put this together. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Come on. And last one. All right. Okay, so the first time we did, we ran up and we did bounce off the 50 uh, area was, here's the July of 2017. So we came up, bounced off that. Let's see what we had going on for death crosses and golden crosses at this time. So 
So at that time, would have been right, right in this range right here. This is where we came up and then just rolled over. So you see we came up, rolled right over on the 55. See, no crosses, nothing of significance on the daily that I can identify. Other than there was just a simple rejection on that day. Let's go back. Uh, came up, rejected off. This was still 2017, January. I don't not see anything. I do see a golden cross right here that would have been a possible help. But this, this one right here would have been golden. This, see, here you go. This, is, this would have been a great, great trade right here on that. That would have been a super, this is what we're looking for right now. This is what needs to happen. And take a look, here you go. Here, Take a look at this. So look, this is, that's a little higher though right now. This is actually riding up on the red line. So you can see we're just right on the red zone right there, trying to roll up. It's at the very top, kind of sandwiched along the 50 and the 55, kind of rode sideways a little bit. And then finally decided it was payday and everybody got paid here. This was a good payday and this thing just kept running. This was a very nice payday for everybody. This is what we'd like to happen. We'd like to see a good, easy payday where we're at right now. It's just, I mean, I, I think it's possible. I mean, let's, I, I'm always looking for these easy trade setups. Like this was a great payday right here. If you played this moving average, this is a great payday back in the day. All right, let's roll back. Let's roll back. Kind of in and out. You know, this whole line right here, you kind of see this whole box of, of confluence that occurred right here. See that that was back in 2016, and we've talked about this a couple times. Here's that 2016 box. So we're back in July. You want to line us up today. Today is July 6, and that's us right there. Now, you had a death cross, right? You had a death cross. You would have played this death cross correctly. This would have been a good play. You would have, you know, you would have scalped this. It wouldn't have been an amazing play. But then you would have got over here on the on the uh, what was that on the 18th you would have had a another golden cross. So you would have had a second golden cross followed by a death cross, and this would have been a very very hard time to trade. It, it, just this whole thing, all this thing did is this back in here. It just this was just a a really tough trading time between the uh, beginning of July and that ran all the way into August. That was a tough trading time. I mean, you pretty much just could have taken the entire summer off right there and done nothing, and you would have been you would have come back and been a much better trader for it. Okay, this this area is just very difficult to trade. Let's go back and here we are back in January again. Uh, nope, I don't. I see a death cross, but I don't see anything. Not standing out to me. And September, golden cross. This is substantially underneath the price though, and the price fell through it. So this would have been a very tragic play on that. Let's take a look at that on the twelve hour. I want to see this on the twelve hour. Pull this up on the 12 hour here. Yeah, I wish I could be more help. Uh, Vamp uses the 7, the 50. So if you take a look at my moving averages here, I use the 7, the 50, uh, the 128 day, but I only use the 128 day for the daily. Uh, the 100 and the 200. So you've got the 100 running up here as the as the uh, the purple line. Yeah, I really wish I could be more help to everybody right now. I really, really, really do.
It's just my charts are giving mixed signals. They are. All right. Bubble charts are saying it's not going to happen, bulls. The bubble charts are saying. Bubble charts are just saying this is not going to happen. Especially this one. This bubble chart just says, no, it's just we're going to reject this. We're going to go down. You know, I'm just going to sit here in my short, and I'm just going to let this thing take me out of my short. I am playing the charts. Let's pull up our four-hour here. Um, so the four hour came through this ABCDE, dumped back out, right? Looked like it made a larger. You know, it's really hard to get another longer pattern out of that. There you go. And I wish this thing would just stay where it needs to stay. So you got A. B, C, D, and that's where you're at. It's in its, so let's go over here. I mean, this is really tricky right in here. This just gets super tricky right in here to trade this as an A, B, C, D, E as a wedge because it is, it is breaking the wedge. You know, now can this go up a little bit more? and create a little larger wedge, it is possible. Something like that. Man, everybody, I really wish I had better news. Uh, let's, uh, I wish I had more direction for everybody. Um, I don't use the OBV, everyone. Um, yeah, I don't use the OBV. Um, I need to look into that. Let's take a look at some, you know, let's go over and look at Litecoin for one second here, okay? Let's take a look at our Litecoin chart. Litecoin usually has been giving us a pretty good indicator of where we're going at what time. I always feel that Litecoin is giving us the, the kind of the go-ahead signal. So if you look at Litecoin, if you're trading just off Litecoin, is a leading indicator for the rest of the majors. Here would have been a great short trade. This has been an excellent short trade to massive shooting star candles, uh, followed by a dump. Now, this would have been an, a good long candle to go long on this. Uh, this would have been at the bottom of a trend, and that would have been a, a hanging man candle, and this should go up, right? That should go up right there. So looking at Litecoin right now, this, this is a bullish setup. This is a bullish setup here for Litecoin. This looks, this looks bullish. You know, if you try to count this, how would you come down and how would you count this as an ABC? This gets really tough to see this as an end of a continuation pattern, kind of. A, B, C, that's how you'd have to look at that right there. You'd have to break that down. If you pull that down to four hours. Let me see for a second. You have to pull this down to four hours. Can we peel this apart down here using Elliot? A, B, C, A, B, C. Three, four, five. I mean, you you know, you can pull this apart as a, uh, this sure pulls apart as an A, B, C is a, and then this would look, so this kind of looks like a 335 setup. If I break that down. So A, B, C. And then you've got the, uh, that's a pretty easy count right there. Two, three, four, five. That's a pretty easy count right there. Same thing, this looks like a one, two, three, four, five. Now this would be a retracement here, so I would look at this as a retracement. So you'd have A, B, C. Hmm. Huh. 
I mean, this kind of looks like a five. Nope. Oh, that can't be a larger. Can't be a larger count right there. This looks like a finished ABC. This completely looks like a finished ABC here. So this does not look one, two. Three. Yeah, this is just this is an ABC. This is clearly an ABC up. And then it should be starting a retracement down. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Eh, I mean, you know, look at that. You know, see, this is the thing. Litecoin has just been so nice. Two, three, four. Five, right? I mean, that just works out perfect right there. It's just so, that coin's just so easy to count. I mean, that's just a, a really good, easy setup, layup trade. You know, you got one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Now, is this part of a larger A, B, C movement up? Is this, this could definitely be part of a much larger, like A, B, C movement up, something like this. You know, it could be a flat. It could run as a flat. It could come up here higher. You know, you, I'm looking at this, this moving average line coming down. And there's just nothing above it. There's nothing above Litecoin except for that line right there. So... You know, if you count this, this is a wave one, two three, four, this could come all the way back up into here, the four diving down into wave five, sorry to go Elliot on everybody today, uh, oh. Let me back this up a little bit more, yeah, so, you know, you have one, two, three, four, five, you have an ABC up, one, two, three, four, five to the bottom. I mean, that looks just so possible. Let me take this all off here. And here we go. Let's count this down. One, two, three. You know, here's clearly a this is this is kind of a radical retracement right here. Still would work out as a this is kind of a radical retracement, but I mean you can get in here one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, down to the end there. I'm gonna count that out pretty good. All right, let's take a look. Some people are posting some charts. Uh, I wish I had. Let's take a look. Actually, let's hop over to EOS. Let's take a look at EOS here. So we called this out as bleeding on that. That that, that played out. Um, we also said this is a very dangerous trade, which it is. Uh, we're coming up here. So EOS, uh, the numeric. The TD sequential is not helping us out. EOS itself is going into a squeeze. <laughs> Only this time it's got a stronger MA above it. The 50, you've got the 7 above it. You've got the 30 underneath it. So you do have a nice little squeeze popping right there. Um, let's take a look at EOS on the daily chart. Oh, there's the other. So EOS's daily chart. Now EOS's daily chart actually looks a lot weaker because you have all the MAs above it. To where Litecoin, the way Litecoin is sitting right now, Litecoin has all of the the MAs below it. So let's go back to our, sorry, as compared day to day. All right, so here we are. So we've got uh, two of the MAs are below it. We've got the 50 above it right here. Yeah.
So we've got the 50 above it right here. All right, and so Bitcoin looks a lot stronger at this very moment than Litecoin does. So, I mean, yeah, than EOS. So here's EOS. EOS actually looks weaker than Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum, let's take a look at Ethereum on the daily. Uh, Ethereum just, once again, looks weaker. This looks weaker than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is actually leading the way for strength. Um, in, in my eyes, it's leading the way in the indicators. Let's go take a look at this. Let's bring our 750 and 30 back up. All right. And yeah, see, look, here you go. So Litecoin looks, you know, if I'm looking at moving averages and strengths and resistances just based off the moving averages, I'm definitely seeing that Litecoin is looking healthy compared to, so it's got the 50 below it, it's got the 7 below it, it's got the 30 parked above it on the uh, 4 hour, let's pull it up as the daily. I mean, it's, you know, this has got, this has got room to run. Definitely Litecoin has room to run. It has always been the leading indicator though, so let's really keep an eye on this and follow this. You know, there's there's no reason I see right now for this to drop out of the sky other than if you are just independently trading off of the uh, the other um, if we have if we're independently just trading off the bubble charts and the bubble charts are saying we're going down 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 <laughs> other charts are saying we're going up I really wish uh yeah, Johnny, I know. Johnny definitely has been dying. Hey, listen, I'm in my shorts. I'm sitting in my shorts right now. You guys know I am. I am going against the longs. I am going against the trend. Call me a rebel right now. Call me a Johnny Rebels. But uh, I'm still sitting in my long. I'm not going to close my long out right now. You know, let's bring up the, uh, let's take and pull up our short chart. I feel like it's me against the world right here as I go against all the shorts in the world, you know. Where's our short chart at here? Where is my short chart? Let me pull this thing up. All right, there we go. All right, let's take a look here. So here's our short chart right now. Uh, we have our shorts with our price action below it. Uh... I mean, the shorts are just in the dirt. There's just and nobody's shorting. I think the, 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 if you were to zoom into here, right, if you zoom way into here, they would have a little tiny green line that would say Johnny's dumbass and Vamp's dumbass. And that's what it would say right here. <laughs> this little green blip is our shorts and no one else's. That's all it would say. Yeah, let me pull up. Uh, here we go. Here's my longs versus shorts chart. So let's take a look here. Here we go. All right, so we got our longs versus shorts chart on. Oops. And let me reduce this. All right, so here we go. So we've got our charts stacked now, stacked above us. Longs just through the roof, just through the roof and going up. The longs are going up. I mean, they are. Look at this. The longs are going up. They're just, then the shorts are curling down, right? It's not looking good for me in this trade. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, you know what? Uh, oh, my stop loss is at 6,700, everybody. I do have a stop loss set at 6,700. I think I had that posted last night. Um, I did give myself a lot of room, so I can, I can pull that chart over. So I used uh, to set this stop loss, and I'm not, I don't think this is the chart I used to set the stop loss. I actually already deleted everything off it. Um, but the, I used the daily chart. Oops. I used the daily chart right here. So I used the daily chart, and what I did is I just used the top of this candle right here. So it was a pretty simple uh, set of my stop loss. It was right here. 
So this is for my short and my stop loss. I actually went tighter on my long. So I think I went off this candle right there from my long trade. And I got stomped out of my long. I had an ETH long. I haven't even opened up my uh, trading. I have not even opened up my trading account yet to see what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to like wait for my short to get stomped out and then I'll take a look again. And if my short does get stomped out and this thing starts moving up, remember, listen, I, I still think if we go up here, I am not going to FOMO into this trade here until, uh, you know, I'd like to see us move up and, and really hit the 9th or the 12th. I have a lot of confidence in those dates. I have a lot of confidence in those dates having the volume to take us to the next level. I've showed that in my previous videos. So I, I just, there's no need for me to FOMO into this trade. Do I think we can get some good movement here and a reversal of trend that would take us up to the 128 day? It's, listen, it, anything is possible right here. All right, anything is possible. I just, you know, I'm, I'm I still have faith in my, uh, in my charts being right, my bubble charts. Uh, oh, shoot, breaking news. Someone says that Korea will legalize crypto. Ah. All right, let's see what this let's, let's let's bring up a little bit of news here. How about that? All right. Oh, wait. Somebody said that was yesterday's news. So is that is that yesterday's news or is today's news? All right. Let's let's go. Let's go see if we can uh so this is my meme I used. Hope you enjoyed it from my Twitter post. Okay. Nice. All right. Yes, yeah, so that was yesterday, 18 hours ago. Um, you know, I, I really think that this news would have, we would have seen this in the price. I mean, here we go, you know, look, rise, crypto. Let's see what they got to say about this. So here you go. South Korea will officially legalize cryptocurrency in the blockchain based industries. So they are going to categorize them. Crypto asset exchanges and brokerages. So they're creating a new classification for blockchain related businesses. You know, so this this is I mean, I like this news. This is pretty good news. I like them classifying. Now, so this is good and bad. This is good and bad news if you're a a a Bitcoin maximalist. You know, here they are saying that, uh, you know, blockchain is not a security. So, you know, that's that's a good and the bad. I mean, are they legitimizing this as a currency? I mean, this doesn't a blockchain based software supply and development business. I mean, so this is, you know, this is good and this is bad. In two ways. So. One is they're basically saying, hey, your tokens are a, a basic, you're, you're, they're basically saying your tokens are not really an asset. This is saying that your tokens are a, uh, it's more like a, uh, more like just a regular business, you know, which is not, which wouldn't be equivalent to like a, uh, I don't see this the way this is worded. Is this is being the equivalent to like a stock, like a traded stock, which would be an asset. All right, and let's take a look at a couple of our questions here. And I think we're going to get out. Um, how do you get to the Discord, Jane? You can get to our Discord on the, uh, oops, sorry, did I not turn that off? Oops. 
Sorry, guys. I just jumped on so quickly. Uh, you can get to our Discord through the uh, my link. There's a link to our Discord. It's in the uh, in my Twitter page. Just go find me on Twitter. Give me a uh, follow if you haven't yet. Uh, I would love to, you know, give me a shout out. Doing my best here for everybody. I just, I, 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 I just, I got mixed signals right now. I got mixed signals. I'm, I'm showing the death. i uh, showing a beautiful golden cross setup for a nice long trade, and at the same time, my bubble charts are screaming, "Don't be an idiot." We have to take a look at my chart and DM. Give me one second. Let me bring up. Uh, let me bring up. Uh, where do you post it, buddy? Loan. Where do you post that chart at? Hold on a second. Loan said he posted a chart. Let's see if we can find it here. Give me one second. 